Hello. Happy Wednesday. Um, it is Wednesday, right? I know a holiday weekend usually throws me off and I <laughs> screwed up for the whole weekend what day it is. Um, I wanted to jump on and talk just one more time about my Rocket Notebook and how I'm doing. Um, using it to increase my organization. I have uh, received a couple of calls from people who have seen the videos asking questions about the notebook and so I appreciate that and I just want to say thanks for calling and asking about them um, but I really wanted to do this to start myself on kind of a new organizational structure and I think it's it's working I am um, a little bit accountable to you guys <laughs> to follow through and learn new things so I can show them to you guys but it has helped me to um, actually follow through and continue to use it and not fall back into my old ways of using uh, my notebook. So I will say that I have officially put my paper, regular paper notebook um, up in my overhead um, above there just to um, keep it because I'm not quite ready to get rid of those notes, but I am no longer using it and I have um, all of the meetings and all of the ideas and stuff that I have over the last week, I have used my smart notebook for those and I have developed a filing system on my computer to file each one of those um, JPEGs or PDFs, however I export the files under um, the same <coughs> title as how I, how I selected my rocket book to um, organize things so I have a customer notes a team meeting Ken meeting all these different files on my desktop in a rocket book folder and when I email the files to myself from the app I file them right on my desktop and I'm able to go in there and just find those notes what I have learned uh, about myself and using this uh, this notebook is that I love it for client meetings and I love it for regular and team meetings that we have here at the gear group because it allows me to quick reference the last meeting and brief myself essentially before I start a new meeting and so that works really good especially you know I anticipate in the future as I have a client meeting that I haven't had in a while or I haven't met with somebody um, it's going to be super easy for me to go in and find them because then under my client meetings folder on my desktop, I have them filed by client name. I also have been getting enough notes scanned into the app now where I've been able to use the search function a little bit to see how good that works. And I feel like it's pretty accurate. Um, it's able to read my writing well enough to file the um, different pages that I'm uploading and and. I, it's easy to find so I have searched by a client's name for example a date and also just kind of a topic trying to think you know if it's a good six months that since I've taken these notes what keywords am I gonna think of to search and is the app gonna be able to find them for me and it seems like it is so that seems to work really well um, the transcribe function on the email like I mentioned in the last video I still haven't got it to read exactly what I'm writing down and and try to transcribe that to me accurately but it's probably 75 percent so I'm happy with that and that same technology is what it's using to find it and search so it's enough to where I'm able to put in keywords and, and search and it and it works good enough for that um, I do love, I think I'm going to order more pens because I have a black pen, my friction pen that goes with it, and I think I'm going to order more pens so that I can take notes in different colors um, just to make it a little bit more fun, and of course I'm probably going to run out of ink at some point in that one anyway. Um, I guess overall it's easier than I thought. I, I am able to use it in Slack and I'm able to, which is our internal communication, you know, instant messenger, I'm able to use it there. I'm able to um, get the files there and share them with the whole group, which is the gear group, or just myself on Slack and I save them for my ideas and notes. So things that I quick think of, I am able to write down um, on my notebook and then when I get a chance go back and scan everything in and then it kind of files them for me puts them in my email puts them in my slack and then when I have a chance I go back and file those into the the files I was talking about that I put on my desktop so 
today I just want to talk a little more about how I'm using it as far as the organizational part of it because really it's pretty intuitive as far as you're just taking notes and then um, sending them to where you need them to go. I'm even using it for stuff that I don't want to save and then just erasing those and not scanning them in. So just as a notebook, it works well and it erases super clean. You can't even tell you wrote on the pages previously. So would I recommend using a rocket book? I would. There's two sizes on the Everlast. I have the eight and a half by 11 and I'm really loving it because it fits in my um, portfolio here that I use, which is something that I like to take to meetings. And so it's nice to have it fit into something that I'm already using. Um, and then just kind of the whole process of it is fitting into my life. So um, thanks for watching and kind of going along this journey with me a little bit. I really um, am anxious to see if in six months I'm still using it and how it's working with the filing system. But the way that I feel like I've organized myself and set up my notes and categories and then my files on my desktop for easy access, I feel like it's gonna be sustainable. Um, the only thing I don't know if I'll continue to use it for are my to do's. You know, I tend to write all my to do's down and then kind of keep that next to my desk and look at that. You know, I do that maybe even at the end of the day before I leave too. So when I come in the morning, I kind of have a, a list of things that I just need to check off. And because those, um, change so much. Uh, it doesn't seem to be something that works to kind of scan in and keep in a file because it's ever-changing. And as soon as I scan it in, the next task that I do, that last note was outdated. So, again, I really like it for client meetings or regular internal meetings or even my ideas that I have kind of an unfinished business folder that I keep that um, I like to just, if I have certain thoughts about maybe something I can't get to today, but, you know, a marketing piece for the future or how to look for products that might benefit a certain industry, et cetera, I jot those down and I save those in a file so I can go back to them because when I am trying to actually think of things like that, it's harder to think of. So if I save those notes, I kind of have a brainstorm for myself when I do go back. But for my to-dos, I'll probably continue to keep to do those just on a piece of paper and keep those um, on my desk. Then I can see them and cross them out and, and change that. But as far as client notes and stuff go, it's great. Um, and I think it's just cool overall. You know, when I think of like this, you know, <laughs> for me with, you know, what I do is all promotional products and apparel and some people you know, you think of swag, you think of like the trinkets and trash and all of that kind of stuff. But there's so many useful products in the industry and there's so many high end products in the industry that you can customize. This being one of them. I mean, you can jump online and buy one of these smart books, smart notebooks, you know, the rocket book itself, which was a Kickstarter, by the way, it's kind of cool just to note. Um, but you can buy one for 34, 35 bucks, but you know, to have, you know, I would actually think about purchasing these for the entire staff here at the gear group, you know, or the sales staff anyway, to keep their notes and stuff in just as an organizational system. And then when they're out and about with it, it's got the gear group logo on the front of it. In the long run, I'm going to save money versus buying notebooks if people adopt it and use it. And if it's pretty simple and I can, you know, adopt it as a new process in a couple of weeks when, you know, it's kind of hard for me to change my routine sometimes. So, um, I would say that it would be a viable, you know, corporate gift or or something that's not, you know, the trinkets and trash. It's an actual customizable item that is of value and provides organization. So um, if you do um, want to call or talk to me about any of this stuff or how I'm using it or stop in and see it, I mean, I can show you my notes. I've had a couple people do that as well. I'll sit at my desk and just kind of go through what I'm doing with them because maybe they started to watch one of these videos and didn't get through it or they still had questions um, after that or just give me a call and ask about them. I would love to talk about it because it was just going to keep me rolling in my process to keep organized. So Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know if you decide to jump in and get a smart notebook yourself. <laughs> Have a great day.